Hello guys and welcome to the first XP11 video of 2021. I hope you guys are doing well in the year and everything is going well for you. Today we are back on the ground in Manchester. The flight has just arrived in from Istanbul and the aircraft is in the turnaround state currently for us to perform the return flight back to Istanbul operating Turkish 1994. The flight time today should be about 4 hours picking up some tailwinds as we get closer to Turkey. And yeah, that's about it guys, I um, haven't got anything set up, the RSs are just about ready to be aligned and uh, we need to get the weight, passengers load on, all that stuff done. So without wasting any more time, let's get things set up and ready to jet off to Istanbul. Alright, going to our seat over here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is head down here to the inner page. We will go and load our flight plan. Align IRS. Our flight number today, Turkish 1994. Uh, cost index, going to be 15 today. Well, I believe we're going to be cruising at uh, flight level 350. And that's all good. Let's head up here. We got the tallest menu opened up. Loading and performance. Alright, let's see. Today we have a hundred and forty nine packs. And the cargo's 2,000 kilograms. Uh, we're looking for a zero fuel weight of 66.7, so pretty good right there. We'll supply load settings. Uh, fuel today 14.4 tons. So we're going to be needing for our flight to Istanbul. And don't worry about the ground services. It's looking good. Head back down to our. Uh, MCDU. And over here, zero fuel weight, 66.7. Block fuel is 14.4. And should have about 4,000 in reserve. We reach Istanbul. Uh, we have to fly plan here, we're going to be departing runway 23 left. On the Mr. 2 Yankee departure. And we can plan our arrival into Istanbul for runway 35 right in the RS. Go for the ILS Zulu, I think should be the best option for us. On the Relax 1 November. Uh, I'm going to be going via Vasto. Insert that, perfect. Goes to the performance data. We're doing a do a Turgo takeoff today. Uh, it's going to be set the V1 to 157, VR 160, V2 163. Uh, obviously no flex because we are Turgo, and the trim. Is 0 0.1, so got that all set in 28.6. That's our sense of gravity there 
point six. Yeah, uh, three five zero plugs in all the way up. Uh, I'm gonna be AP must switch. Uh, I got the Manchester Charles opened up. What I can do is get the ground handling to disconnect and we'll get our doors closed up. Everyone should be on board the aircraft now. And the flap should be open, we'll get the APU to fire up. You can see the APU starting to fire up, you can see the people are coming up. And what a beautiful day in Manchester it is. AP is on and available, we'll get the APU please disconnect external power. Let's see a better pushback and we'll get our pushback planned out. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Cool, we'll get the tow menu opened up. Just like the ground power there. Get the beacon light turned on. Drove to... Uh, also. Get the line lights with tracks but off. You can see they're gonna start coming out of their little holes there. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed, ready to connect. I'll go to the sun menu. Let's go out to disconnect. I love the leap engines, it looks so good. Obviously, uh, Turkish sure Airlines use the Prime Whitney engines in real life, but I don't have the Neo mod yet. So. so connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Okay, he is ready to go. We got our parking brake released. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Okay, engine number one fired up.
Looks like engine one is gonna be good to go in a second. Should get a little thing saying it's running. Or available, there we go. There's a PTU. I can see uh, if times a cargo triple seven, Singapore Airlines, American Airlines seven five seven behind there. Who else have we got? So that's a FedEx seven six seven over there. Not too bad, not too bad. A bit of pre-departure plane spotting. Okay, it looks like we have got two good starts on both engines. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Get the APU turned off. We have our engines now providing enough power for us. Got the flaps set to position one. Cell is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Alright, thank you very much to him. He's given us a good pushback here. We're lined up on the center line. And once we see him off to the left there, and he shows our bypass pin, we know the gear is steerable and we'll be able to get ourselves taxied up. You see the bypass pin in his hands. Perfect. Let's get our tax light turned on. When we turn offs. Cabin is ready. So auto brake to max boilers arms. And do take a config test. Take config is normal. Alright, go taxi here all the way around on Delta. And then on to Bravo by the looks of things.
Okay, briefly crossing Bravo and then back on Delta. Gonna cross for my two three rides. Don't worry about any traffic as we are offline. Get the landlines turned on, those lights to take off. Okay, you're gonna make a right here onto Tango. Uh, we're taking Tango 1, two from a T3 left. Okay, let's get ourselves lined up. Get the Corona on. Run through the takeoff checklist. Serve lights on, tax lights um, off, take lights are on. Perfect. Set to thrust. My old Serga, Suras, no blue. There is eight knots. V one, there's eight. Let's climb, gear up. Engage all parts one. Set thrust climb. Nose light can come off. Our uh, left turn. Then we are out of Manchester. The author looks beautiful down there. Let's say. Goodbye, Manchester. Slots game with tractors, we'll get the slots with tractors. Uh, we can disarm the ground spoilers. And there you have it guys, there's a departure at Manchester, you can see just off our left wing up there, behind us. What we're going to do now is just going to be a climb up, and our flight plan is pretty straightforward. We're going to be taking us over the Netherlands, over uh, the Hague, next to Rotterdam, down to Germany, Briefly passing the Czech Republic, Austria, through Hungary, Serbia, uh, Bulgaria, and then into Turkish airspace. So it's pretty much a straight line down after we get out of UK airspace. Um, should be expecting our top of climb just over the North Sea. This is we break off the east coast of the UK. So yeah. 
nothing really more to see now guys, just going to climb up to our cruise altitude 350. Uh, stay tuned for the cruise cinematics and I'll catch you guys when we are back on our descent and arrival into Istanbul. Hello guys and welcome back to our descent and approach into Istanbul. Currently passing 9,600 feet and we're just off to our right side is Istanbul Airport. We've uh, we flew the flights. Cruise altitude was good. We had about 45 knot tailwind for quite a bit of the way over Bulgaria into Turkish airspace so that helps speed things up a lot you can see right now 3 hours 28 on the block time 3 hours 23 on the flight time so we should be arriving about 20 minutes 25 minutes ahead of scheduled uh, flight time which is always a good thing love to see that happen but yeah we're just sitting into Istanbul now and got everything set up for the arrival Go to the perf page. You can see here. Uh, gonna have to double check all this information. The QNH still 1028, and the winds are still 30 at 7. The temperature 8 degrees Celsius, so nothing has changed since I of that. Uh, decision height is going to be 200, and we're obviously doing the ILS 35 right Zulu. We have 1028 set.
and we go to the previous phase here we'll activate our approach phase so we get the aircraft to start slowing down in preparation for our arrival into Istanbul see the Turkish coastline down there with the lights of Istanbul switching on Alright, so we're going to find our FM416 and, and then uh, Vaste. We need to be 5,000 feet of Vaste. Uh, I get also break low uh, set. Everything else looks good. I'm not going to get the ground spoilers armed just yet. Here we go through the soup down into Istanbul. Look at that, beautiful. The lights of Istanbul shining bright. Istanbul CBD. This here is where the um, European continent gets split off from this Asian continent, or something like that. There, the river that runs straight through Istanbul, splitting uh, the other half of Turkey from mainland Europe, which is pretty cool. And the cabinet announcement's going off there. Uh, get Faps 1. Gonna arm the ground spoilers at this time. QH1028. Let's get that reset. So we want to get ourselves down to 4000. It's going to be our final answer before inception of the ILS. Absolutely beautiful. So it looks just as good and better in real life. Turned on. Uh, 
there's uh, Istanbul Sabiha Airport. One of the three airports here in Istanbul. So we'll maintain 5,000 until we get to Vaste, Vaste or Sars, then down to 4,000. And I'll get the wing lights turned on. Can light up our beautiful CFM Leap engines. Well, the hours get starts to descend down to 4,000 now. And there are all the ships. Well, they're in the harbour bay area. I remember flying into Istanbul's Atatürk Airport and it was an early morning arrival. It's broke out of the clouds just above the ocean and there's just hundreds of ships on there. It's really cool to see. Alright guys, passing Vasting, I can see a little green dots, that's how I sent down to 4000 now. There we go. Looking good. You can see here on the chart, Penix 4400 and then we'll be at 4000 by the time we reach uh, Baku. It's a cruise ship down there. And then it's a 10 mile final, actually a 16 mile final down to runway 35 right. Aztec Airport in all its glory. So 
So I got visual already of the airport as right three five right. Okay, maintaining four thousand. Uh, see if you're going to be able to uh, arm the localizer. Uh, localizer is captured. Uh, on the approach as well. The uh, glide slope. Alright guys, not so long to go, we will be on the ground in Istanbul. Did the aircraft slow down? Okay, we're down to 170 knots. I can get the gear down. There we go. With the gear down, three green. Horse brake is armed low, speed brakes are armed, flaps are uh, currently set to 2. Get this down to 4 shortly. Got all our uh, lights on, and the approach is looking good. Got two whites, two reds there on the poppies. What a beautiful and massive airport. I'm pretty sure they got plans to expand to have even uh, one more runway on this side. So that'll be, that'll be interesting. Six runways in total. Two, five, two, five, 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 five. Got a nice uh, straight on headwind there, five knots. Gonna go find the bridge speed. Flash uh, three. Flaps full. Go cabin is ready. Alright guys, we're gonna get ready to take over manual control. Control, my aircraft.
So we can get in the glass up to reds, to whites. Five hundred. Five hundred feet Minimum landing. One hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Four. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Twenty. Three. Down. Ten. Ten. Five. Five. Oh, down, guys. Uh, speed brakes are up. That's normal. Diesel. So reverses over to manual braking. Uh, we got ourselves vacated off to the right to turn on the brake line just to make sure the brake is cool down. Look there. Oh, I love that control tower. It never gets old. The design is. Beautiful. And we'll vacate off to the right here. Alright guys, welcome to Istanbul. Welcome to Istanbul. That was a beautiful flight. Uh, let's get the corona stopped. That was our 3 hours and 43 minutes in the air. And 3 hours 48 minutes block time and still ticking. And my the beautiful control tower. Uh, they have here in Istanbul. Uh, we're gonna get ourselves taxied all the way down Charlie. Uh, we'll probably take Delta 11. Or actually, no, probably smarter to take. Uh, November 1, we guys, and then down in here through Echo 10, and I'll take one of these stands on this side. I think it's Pier 1 or something. Istanbul. So take November whiskey and down Tango two. Okay, and do that. Oh, so the taxi routes are quite interesting here. Well, let's do this one. So basically we just enter here um, into Tango 2. And then we'll get one of these stands on Tango 2 over there.
I'm gonna get the AP must switch turned on. Give the flap a couple seconds to open up. And then AP starts. See the flaps open. Yeah, we've got two A380s. Interesting. So, making the next left here. Get the runway turn off lights to the off position. And we'll take a uh, Bravo 5, it's looking nice. Okay, so the Autodoc system has detected the incorrect aircraft. It's detected an A320. That shouldn't be too big of an issue. Engine four's time a bit. There we go. Uh, APU is running perfect. Engines can come off. Engines are shut down. Perfect. Get the brake fan turned off. Uh, I'll get the beacon lights turned off. Jetway's gonna come and connect. Get the dome lights turned on to bright. Get the block time sorted. 3 hours 55, 54 minutes on the block time. 3 hours 43 minutes in the air. Here we have it in Istanbul. Uh, I don't know why the second one is connecting up as well. Um, anyways, not too big of a deal as long as it doesn't clip the engines. It's going to be really close. Uh, but there we go. On the ground in Istanbul. That was a really good flight. We managed to get a decent tailwind, which made the flight uh, a little bit shorter than it was scheduled. Allowed us to arrive vaguely on time into Istanbul. I hope you guys did enjoy that flight. Uh, first X-Pay 11 video. 
rather go put off for 2021. But that's it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to stick around for the replays. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button as well. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to tell me about this flight. And also, the Discord link is in the description. So go ahead and join the Discord. But yeah, thanks a lot for tuning in, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned for a lot of new stuff coming this year. I'm working on something else currently, which I think you guys will like. But yeah, stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when all this cool new stuff drops. But I'm going to stop blabbering on and I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay safe and I'll see you in the skies.